Hi, my name's Liz Pichon and I write and draw all the Tom Gates books. That's right, all 18 books. Um, there's a lot of them to read and this is a very special year because it's been 10 years since the very first Tom Gates book came out. And to celebrate that, I'm going to be reading a little excerpt, a little bit, a few pages of every single one of the Tom Gates books in the series. And the one I'm reading right now is Tom Gates Top of the Class, nearly. There's always a little, little bracket bit there. And I decided, I've chosen a bit where it introduces a character called Buster Jones. I think this is the first time he appears. Buster um, is older than Tom and he gets into trouble quite a lot as well. So most of the time the kids try and avoid him. Here we go. Buster Jones. There he is looking a bit rough. <laughs> Buster Jones is older than me and in the year above. He's one of those kids who seems to get into trouble a lot for doing stupid things like lying on the floor when he's not supposed to. Uh, get off the floor, Buster. Uh, it's comfy, miss. When Buster was in detention, he decided to try and escape through the classroom window. He was on the ground floor. Even Buster's not that daft. Only he got stuck, properly wedged in. Some kids gathered around and just stared at him. Derek and I watched what was going on from a safe distance. Buster started to get really cross as he couldn't get out. Don't just stand there looking at me. Help me out. Look, there you go. He's stuck. So a few of them got hold of his leg and started to try and pull him out, but that didn't work. Buster tried wiggling from side to side, but he didn't budge at all. And when the teacher, Mr Sprocket, caught him trying to escape detention, he tried to pull Buster back into the classroom. It was like a tug of war. Buster wasn't happy. <laughs> I'm laughing at my own drawings here. Mr Keane saw that was going on from the office window and he wasn't happy either. What's going on down there? Eventually, caretaker Stan had to be called to free Buster from the window. He was in heaps of trouble after that. Detention Buster. Mr Keane made a special announcement over the tannoy, telling the whole school that no one should ever try and climb out of a window as it was very dangerous and they were very likely to get stuck. So I won't be doing anything like that. Before Mr Fullerman changes his mind, I gather up my stuff. I'm feeling quite pleased with myself because one, I'm off to the library. Yay! Two, I can hang out with Derek. Yay! Three, I might actually do better in my test. Yay! Four, Derek and I can sit together. Yay! Five, I don't have to pretend to like the snacks. You yuck. Brad Galloway puts up his hand and asks if he can go to the library too. Uh, why do you need to go to the library, Brad? Mr Fullerman asks. Um, because Tom's going, Brad says, which turns out to be the wrong answer. I mouth, oh, sorry Brad, to him as I close the door and leave. As I'm on my way to the library, I hear a door open and really loudly followed by very stompy footsteps coming from up the stairs towards me. I don't really want to explain to another teacher what I'm doing and if it's Mr Keane, he'll keep me chatting for ages. Where are you going, Tom? So I make a quick decision to hop into the cloakroom near the library and hide. There you are. It's Tom's hiding. <laughs> hide until whoever it is has gone past. I can just about see out and I realise it's not a teacher. It's Buster Jones, who looks like he's in a bit of a hurry. As he walks past me, I breathe a sigh of relief. Phew, that was close. I'm about to sneak out when Buster comes back. He stops in front of the glass cabinet where all the photos of the teacher are. <gasps> I hold my breath. I don't move. Buster is doing something, but I can't quite see what it is. He's laughing to himself for what seemed like ages. He's very busy. When he finally leaves, and I'm sure he's not coming back, I creep out of the cloakroom and take a look at what Buster's been up to. <gasps> He's going to be in so much trouble if anyone finds out what he's done. Whoa, I will tell you, here we go. Buster Jones. <laughs> um, Buster has drawn all over the glass cabinet. While I'm staring at Buster Jones' handiwork, Miss Lucas opens the library door and calls my name. Tom Gates, <gasps> which makes me jump. Aren't you supposed to be in class catch up now? Come along, don't stand around. I don't want her to see what Buster's done in case she thinks it's me who did it. So I quickly say, yes, miss. 
There you go. <laughs> it's always trouble that look very naughty Buster's handiwork there, I guess. So <laughs> look at me laughing at my own drawings again. There you go. So that is top of the class, nearly. Um, Tom Gates book. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, and yeah, new book out in February. Um, so thank you very much. If you've bought or read or supported Tom Gates in any way, um, I'm really really thankful um, I'm just going to keep on writing and making books as long as you keep reading them <laughs> bye